This is Primal Attitude and we're in Toronto at the NYX convention. We're going to go check out some great artists. We have some interviews to do. Check out some of the vendors. Check out some of the clothes. And we'll go check out our stuff as well. Let's go see the show. Operator of Beasting Tattoo. Uh, Eddie Parsley uh, from Oak Oaks, Alberta, Ghost Town Tattoos. Hey, I'm Bob Tyrell from Detroit, Michigan. I'm Joe Capobianco. I'm from New Haven, Connecticut, and I own Hope Gallery. My name is Nick Chaboya with Seven Sun Tattoo in San Francisco, California. My name is Drew with Sinful Inflictions in Whitby, Ontario. I'm a tattoo artist from uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. My first tattoo actually was a tattoo I did on myself with a sewing needle and some pelican ink. Um, I was all the ripe old age of about 17 years old. I skipped out of school one day, somebody told me I could put ink in my skin. Well, I tried it. Uh, my first tattoo that I had on myself was uh, a little skull with uh, a little wing, a piece of flash from uh, you know street shop in St. John's New Plant. My first tattoo was actually my left arm, uh, and yes, I still do have it, and I uh, got my whole outline done the first session. It was like four hours and 15 minutes, and I thought it was super easy, and so then I came in the next session, and it killed me, and so then I learned to respect the tattoos, you know? Yeah, my first tattoo was Eddie, Iron Maiden's mascot. Um, I went to a, one of the worst shops in Detroit, and uh, I was almost 30 years old. You know, I've been wanting a tattoo since I was 19, and I used to go into shops all through my 20s, and all my friends had crappy tattoos. They are like, go see this guy Red, who's 70 years old, and he shakes, you know, but he, uh, when he hits your skin, he gets steady. Like, you know. My first tattoo is uh, Porky Pig and Daffy Duck as uh, as uh, Friar Pig and uh, Robin Duck uh, from the Warner Brothers cartoons. I'm a huge fan, and I most certainly still have it. Yes. My first tattoo was uh, it was a marijuana leaf with my girlfriend's name and a sword going through it. I had a hand poked into my shoulder when I was 16 years old. Um, uh, it was my first cover up as well, so yeah. Fallen Angel. I think I may have done Toronto maybe 2001, so it's been a long time, maybe 12 years. Uh, the crowd's awesome in Toronto. The shows are always great. Good crowd, lots of hot chicks. This is my second year here at NYX. I love, I love the Canadians. They always treat me really good, and I have great clientele here, um, so the, the crowd treats me well, and uh, in return, I always try and treat them well too. I did the Knicks uh, back in 2007. It was actually my very first convention that I ever did. Oh, the crowd's always great. I love the vibe actually here in uh, in Toronto. I haven't done the Knicks show before. No, it's been a great experience. It's been a great show. I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, I plan to come back next year if they'll have me. I have not been to the Knicks show before. Uh, been the one show that I've wanted to come to ever since I was interested in tattoos was this show, and um, now finally I'm here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really good crowd. It's been pretty. Busy. Um, nice, lots of people. My favorite style of tattooing by far is black and gray realism. I love portraits, always have. Um, I did portraits even when you know, it's been a paper and pencil thing you know, for me uh, long before I began tattooing. Realism has always been my my first love. So. 5,000 square feet, six artists, um, excellent work, never get a bad tattoo, it's sinful inflictions. My inspiration comes from kind of a lot of things. I mean, when I'm working on pinup style stuff, it's more about the look of the girl and just like the attitude of the girl and trying to come up with a theme for the most part. But it's hard to say. A lot of times it's just ideas that are kicking around my head or an idea that a client has brought me that I may have done already, but I've got other ideas that I can work from on it. So it's, it's kind of hard. It comes from a lot of different places. When I'm coming up with a piece, you know, for a client, uh, generally the inspiration comes from them, and then I see how like. 
like I could take in what they told me they want and throw it up in my own way, you know, like regurgitate it with my own voice and vocabulary on top of it. And uh, a lot of times I try and do something new. For the custom stuff I do, it's always horror. So horror movies, uh, really that's it, anything horror related. Oddly enough, I draw a lot of my inspiration more from musical sources than I do from other artists. Um, depending on the style of the, of the piece that I'm creating, um, you know, sometimes I'll listen to acoustic, you know, finger style guitar music, sometimes I'll put on metal. A lot of my influences when I'm creating comes directly from music. I don't really have a favorite style of tattoo. I kind of try and do a little bit of everything and just try to be pretty proficient at all of them. If somebody asks about the price of tattoos, I just tell them you get what you pay for, you know, and generally it's a good tattoos aren't cheap and cheap tattoos aren't good. All the redness, all the swelling out of the tattoo. Nice little anti inflammatory. The cream, the cream will have you healed up in two to three days. The foam, the foam will keep you from being uh, getting all crusty and uh, sticking to the bed. Um, eight social products uh, that they're great, you know. Um, there's this new stuff called Aqua Tat. It's an ointment, and um, I use it every day tattooing. And it's a good aftercare product if you use ointment, you know. Appreciate all the years you guys allowed me to do this and scar you up, and uh, you know what? Keep them coming. Um, I've got so many years left in me, and then uh, I'm calling it quits. <laughs> um, I love Canada. Canada rules, man. More hot chicks in Canada than maybe anywhere in the world. Thanks for all my uh, clients, everybody that's supported me since I've started tattooing and helped me get to where I am. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, thanks for the support. Rock on. I really appreciate everybody digging out my workout there and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you everybody who gets tattooed by me and supports tattooing and supports all the arts. Keep collecting. So we've got to talk to some of the best artists in the world here at the Knicks in Toronto. That's it for us. I've got to get back to work at the booth. But check us out, primalattitude.com.